I want to say this, and I want to ask you about this, mm-hmm. uh, that we're not talking about a 12, 15-year-old in this experience. Yeah, this so, yeah exactly. So. But, but I do, but, but I, but I, I, I do want to come back, because I know that people will say, but this was 33, right? And I'm just trying to think about the rebuttals, right? Because we, when we talked about doing this, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I said, you know, this is the one subject that people don't want you in their business. Right. And they, you can't walk up to someone in a grocery store and say, hey, there's a better way to talk to your child. You're going to get snapped on. Don't do it. Uh, so this is a way we can have this intense conversation right. with you. You can put your guard down and let's just have the conversation. And, and if you want to reach out to you, how do people get in contact with you? Uh, they can reach out. You go to my website, allthingsleaders.com. Um, and in there, you, you and also I'm on Facebook. I, I have uh, parent leadership. If you uh, go on Facebook and put in parent leadership, you'll see the the book, the logo of the. I mean, the the, the, the front cover of the book is the little icon yeah. that you see for parent leadership. So, so you um, have access to comment exactly. if you want to connect with him. Yeah. But I, I do want to have to. I want to destroy this lie that when your child is eighteen, they're adult. You're free as a parent. Oh no, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Let's nuke that right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. If you want to get into this parenting business <laughs> as a parent. <laughs> You, it's a lifetime. It, yeah. your, your children are never going to stop needing you. Get it out of your head that 18 years and you, you're you're, yeah, no, yeah, that, that doesn't exist. So I, I just wanted to throw that out there yeah. to bring relief to when, when you're trying to figure out, why is my 22-year-old still coming to me? Right. Why is my 25-year-old? Where did I go wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. Right. That is a lie. The 18-year-old thing means they can buy cigarettes and vote. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. It, yeah it's so exactly. so don't think yeah. that you're free from parenting yeah. because uh, you might be free from a certain style, maybe them living at home. Yeah. Uh, you can kick them out. Well, you, sh- you should be, but, I mean, the yeah. research shows that so many of our children come back. They leave and then they right. come back, right? So uh, I would say that, yeah, there's actually... Um, you know, different, I would, I would consider tiers of parenting, and it's in the workbook. Mm-hmm. So if you get the workbook, you'll see, but the, I, I love the fact that when you call, you says, hey, Clint, we got to talk about this because, you know, here's a gentleman, he's 30 years old, uh, you know, his dad is dealing, he's, he's struggling, you know, and, and I'm like, well, whoo, this is great for me to talk about this because um, I have personal that I, I have a son, not my biological son, um, who lived with me kind of on and off, and so um, I understand the struggle. I understand the struggle of having your son in the house, out of the house, you know, kind of living with, you know, in this case, his biological father and then with me. And so um, there was a... Uh, I want to make was, sure the definition of struggle yeah, comes up here. Yeah, exactly. I want, yeah. I want you I guys mean, to it's, 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 a real, it's a real struggle, struggle because the communication, you know, and, and the truth is, is that uh, the Lord impressed upon my son to, who was in California to come in back, to come back home in his mid-30s to come and live with us to get centered, to get settled, and that's where he fell in love with Jesus, and just, he's incredible now. My son is a dynamo, but I am telling you that it wasn't, he's incredible, he's incredible, um, gains fitness, I give a shout out to my son, um, but it wasn't always like that, and so this whole idea of your children coming back home, and we were fortunate enough that the Lord spoke to him, and he heard the plea, and he came back to live with us. So, and, and then it was at that time when we were just having real heart-to-heart conversations that he began to share with us the things that he had perceived, you know, that he thought was truth. And we and they, had, and it they, wasn't they true, true, you know, but it was relational. What he thought was true within the relations and the dynamics of our family. That, and that, that was not true. Right, so let me ask you this. <laughs> do, in our parenting, yeah. uh, do we, what is, first of all, what is parenting? Because it is, it, we know provision is parenting. We know that yeah. putting a, a, a roof over the head, food in the stomach. Yeah. The the one thing that I feel like so many people miss was what you just said, that our children are also developing information. They're observing. And I don't know too many parents that ask their children what are they observing during the process. It's always some type of breakdown where you know you're at the Thanksgiving dinner and the kid snaps and you know now you're in your third you didn't even know your kid felt this way. Yeah, about it. exactly. Yeah. So why so, don't we do these check what are the checkpoints of saying, hey, so father, wow. uh, when do we, why yeah, doesn't that man. happen? Um well, oh boy. So here we go. A lot of it has to do is because we don't spend time with each other. 
we don't spend quality time with each other. I mean, there was a time, and you don't have to be a, a you don't have a PhD, but there was a time that when families came together and they ate and they had that whole dinner table thing. I mean, I'm I'm an old guy. I'm I'm in, I'm in my mid mid to late fifties. So uh, when I was you know uh, younger, we sat at the table and there was some conversation that was had, and that was fading away. As I was a teen, you know, but there was a time when this country, when families came together, sat, they caught up, there was no TV on, there was nothing like that. And that's where the real connection, you found out, hey, so what's going on, Mark? You know, you what's guys, happening? You guys aren't here, here but yeah. I don't know if you felt that, but I like a bomb drop. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's the real deal is that we become so busy with doing things, and I hate to say it, that the world, that, that people have said that we need to do, um, that we've lost sight of the main thing. We've really lost sight of that. And, and um, so you're saying that we 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 can live, we can birth and live with and take care of children we don't know. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Oh yeah, exactly. That is very true. Um, if you here here it is. Here's the challenge, folks. If you got a four or five, it doesn't matter. If you got children in the house. If you were to take a stopwatch and clock the amount of quality time that you spend with your child, I'm talking seconds, minutes, you will find out that most families, when it comes to heartful conversation, meaningful conversation, time to spend with the child, research shows, you're like under 10 minutes. Under 10 minutes for the entire day. Think about it. Okay, so uh, think about it. So, so if in fact, let's assume that you have children they're six or seven. You, you wake them up in the morning. You wake them up in the morning. You say, get up. Uh, I got to go to school. Brush your teeth, all that stuff. Throw your backpack on, all that stuff. So clock, how many, how many minutes did you spend? Right. right. And then they grab whatever they grab. Okay, I'm, I'm running out the door, right? So then they go to school. So they spend eight hours. At school. And you spend that length of time, whatever it is. Eight hours, five hours, whatever. So then uh, a whole lot of parents are thinking, okay, so when they get out of school, uh, I got to get them involved in some activity. So you get them involved in some activity. Oh man, how I'm much, seeing it. How much time have you spent, right? So, or if you don't have time, I mean, I didn't. You know, we didn't have activity. I was, you know, we, we couldn't afford all that stuff. So, but anyway, if, if little Johnny comes home, Maria I'm comes home, it. they drop the bag off. Hey, do your homework. So some kids stay home. Boom, boom. So you still haven't had conversation. Okay, haven't had a conversation with the child. Then they boom, they out the door. So they're running around in the neighborhood and they're playing, doing whatever. Old guy like me once again. Hey, when the street lights come on. Behind be in the house, right? Mm -hmm. Street lights come on. I hear my mom yelling, Clint, little Clint, you know, whatever. Clint, come in. I run in the door. You come in the door. Now, old school was that dinner's prepared and we all sat and we ate. The new day is that, hey, dinner's prepared. Go warming up in the microwave. I'm planted here. I'm watching whatever. I'm on my phone, whatever. Have you had conversation with your child? No. Only thing is, you know, is that you're getting some phone call, text that, hey, he's missing his homework. He's whatever. Hey, please don't let ego uh, get in the way of this, okay? Now, if this doesn't apply, great job. Beautiful. But f for the most. A whole lot of us. For a lot, for a lot, a so, lot of so us. So don't get offended if, if you like, and don't try to fight it. If you know you're not communicating to your children, we have an opportunity right now to put it to rest and say, hey, even if you need to cut this off, <laughs> you can come back to it. <laughs> yes. Say, hey, we haven't talked today. You yes, know what I mean? Exactly. Uh, yeah. So this is a key um, a key point. Um, I I know that the a lot of the kids <laughs> didn't grow up with that, with the sitting and talking, right? Right. So they don't even know they're missing it. Right. They Which don't. is causing them to alter these perceptions. Right. Actually, they're authentic perceptions because right. it's what they know. Right. And so when they say, when I hear a, a child tell their parent, you don't know me, mm -hmm. they're being honest. That's exactly true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which so, can be offensive because I'm providing for you. <laughs> I'm putting food on the <laughs> table, clothes. <laughs> I, bought, I bought you the Nikes. I bought you the Adidas that you wanted. You, you got the new PS5. It's, Come on. You got, you know, I got all these toys, you know. Um, any social worker, anyone who's in the family, they'll tell you that children want you. Toys and stuff is secondary. They want you.